Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades back with another weekly uh, analysis video or more overall mar market analysis video. And um, yeah, to start off, we're just gonna look at the indices. So we're gonna take a look at QQQ and SPY first. Um, so yeah, this is how the QQQ has been doing recently. Um, recently, not much has been happening, right? We had a really nice uh, breakout. We finally took out this 313 level. And that was a that was a pretty significant level to take out, right? Because that's where we rejected multiple times before, right? We all rejected here once, rejected here again, rejected uh one time, two times, and then third time was the charm, and then we finally broke out. And um, yeah, we back we tested this level again. Um, yeah, bears cut us down uh, many times back to this level, a couple of days. Um, but yeah, bulls were able to bounce back. But right now, um, bulls haven't been able to make any progress, right? Right now, we're currently just stuck in this uh, little range. So um, <clears throat> yeah, bulls really need to take out this 321 level. If they can take that out, then there's a good chance that uh, we can continue higher. If bears uh, take down this 313 level, there's a good chance that we can go back to this range here um, from 289 to 313. So, um, yeah, those are the potential scenarios that could happen. But right now, um, I would say action is yeah just pretty choppy overall, right? You can't really say much. We've been just chopping around. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the weekly chart. <clears throat> the weekly chart looks a lot better for bulls. It looks like we uh, are making a bull flag, right? Three strong up weeks in a row. And now we're just consolidating nicely. And, uh, yeah, this looks like a really nice bull flag actually on the weekly. So um, that's one way to look at it. Um, another way to look at it is that bulls just don't have enough power to keep this going and that we might see um, a rally or uh, we might see a push back down. But um, yeah, that's currently what's going on with the markets. Uh, this is yeah specifically tech focused. Now let's take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500, same thing, right? Um, yeah, it's just been really choppy. This is the key level that we need to take out, 419, 418.5. Um, the trend line has been holding for the uh, SPY, so that's a positive. But again, um, if bears take out this 409 level, there's a good chance we can just go back into this uh, range here from 376 to 409 and just keep chopping around for a bit. Um, yeah, bulls really, wanted to <clears throat> bulls really want to see this 419 level get taken out, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's also take a look at the weekly the SPY. Um, yeah, the, the SPY has actually been doing better than the QQQ. Um, the QQQ has been going sideways, right? The SPY is still grinding higher a little bit the last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's happening with the overall market. Uh, make sure you're not too bearish or too bullish. And I think cash is the best thing to do right now, especially if you're trading the indices because yeah, there's just not much happening, right? Um, if you're swing trading a lot, you're probably just getting chopped up and uh, you're just losing premium left and right. So I would say cash is the best thing to do. And until we break um, either the upside target or downside target, then yeah, there's just no clear direction right now. So I would stay in cash. Um, okay, now we'll take a look at <clears throat> some of the big tech stocks. We'll start off with Apple. Apple has been holding up pretty, pretty well, right? Um, it's definitely holding up a strong uptrend here. And it look, it really looks like it wants to break this 166 level. Um, but yeah, market is just way too choppy, right? <clears throat> right now. But if the market does, um, if the market is able to break its resistance level, then there's a very good chance Apple can also break out and make a move back to 176. Um, yeah, but right now Apple looks really good, nothing too concerning, and definitely more bullish than bearish. Next, we'll take a look at Amazon. So Amazon, same thing, right? Amazon's actually been holding up really, really well, and it's actually been moving. Um, yeah, it's been moving up while most of the while most of the market has just been going sideways. Um, yeah, Amazon actually had a pretty nice three day rally last week, on uh, starting on Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. Um, yeah, it's been acting pretty well. New uptrend starting to build here. So we'll see how that goes. But um, 
key resistance for Amazon is around this uh, 109 level. So we'll see if that can get taken out. Actually, uh, I think 112 level is more accurate. Because uh, a lot of support here previously, and then we broke down and got rejected again here. So yeah, Amazon has all the way up to 112. And then that's where we should see some major resistance start forming. Um, but yeah, right now Amazon's doing pretty pretty well. So um, yeah, nothing too concerning. Again, more bullish than bearish. Um, here's a look at NVIDIA. Let me move these drawings. So NVIDIA has been following the market more. Um, so this one's also just been chopping around, right? So this one's also very clear. If we take out 280, there's a very good chance that bulls will uh, make another leg up. And if 261 gets taken out, there's a very good chance that um, bears have <clears throat> a chance to push this thing back down, right? If that does happen, uh, the target for bears would be 242. And then if we end up going even lower than that, then there could be a chance that we could even gap fill to 212. But right now, uh, I would say NVIDIA is more bullish than bearish. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's made a really nice move this entire year, right? And now it's just consolidating. So that's completely normal action. Um, yeah, it's just taking a breather. And um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we pulled back more, potentially even to this 242 level. But um, yeah, overall, NVIDIA has been acting really well um, this entire year so far. Next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. So Tesla has been doing too well this week, or yeah, had a gap down on Thursday on uh, increase in volume. So that's not a great sign, but um, yeah, it did end up closing in the green on Friday. But uh, yeah, so what we want to see on Tesla is if we can reclaim this 167 level or even 170 level, there's a chance that this can reverse and end up going back to, or end up gap filling and going back to 178. And uh, yeah, good chance that would just be stuck in this range again. That's the best case scenario for bulls. But um, yeah, if this uh, 160 level gets taken out, there's a very good chance that Tesla can go a lot, lot lower and even uh, go for this gap fill at 145. But um, yeah, that's how Tesla is looking right now. Tesla is one of the few um, stocks that is looking a little bit more bearish than bullish. But um, yeah, we'll see. If the overall market continues to act strong, then there's a good chance that Tesla won't get pulled back down. But if market does roll over, Tesla would be a good short play to look at. And um, yeah, also a key thing to remember is that a lot of stocks have, um, a lot of the big stocks have earnings reports coming out in the coming weeks. So um, there's a very good chance that that can make a, uh, that can cause a major move in the markets, right? So Again, you don't want to be too bullish or bearish because things can change really, really quick and you just have to adapt to uh, the market conditions and uh, yeah, just play it out. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at ARKK, growth stocks. Growth stocks have not been doing anything since all the way till last October, right? Um, yeah, they've just been stuck in chop this entire time and uh, yeah, not much is going on. You want to see the 40.82 level get taken out for bulls to have a chance. And for bears, um, <clears throat> this 36.9 level gets taken out. <clears throat> there's a good chance that we can fall all the way back to 34. So, um, yeah, not much to say about ARKK. It's just pretty much stuck in chop. We need to break one of these key levels for something to get going. Okay, now we'll take a look at uh, some of the best stocks that have been holding up really well. FSLR being the first one. This one's forming <clears throat> a really nice bull flag here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's been consolidating really, really nicely here, and it's building out a really nice flag. So this can this looks ready to uh, potentially break out next week. So yeah, we'll see how that one does. But yeah, this one's again all the way at all time highs, and these are the type of stocks that you want to be paying attention to because these are the stocks that can make uh, big moves. Right. Also had a really big uh, earnings cap up, a really nice volume. So yeah, this is definitely a stock to be paying attention to. Next up, IoT. Same thing. Really nice earnings cap. Really nice volume. That's something that I always like to see in stocks, um, <clears throat> because it's a sign that institutions are buying up the stock. And this one is also forming a little bull flag here. 
Um, so yeah, we'll see if that can, uh, if, if it can take that out and make a leg up higher. And the IoT is also a recent IPO. So yeah, definitely something that you want to pay attention to. Um, next up, we'll take a look at <clears throat> ELF. Um, yeah, this one's been acting incredibly strong, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven green days in a row. So yeah, this one's just insane, right? Um, a lot of strength. Look at that weekly chart. Ever since the uh, last, uh, or, yeah, ever since last Aprilish, Julyish, the stock's just been on a tear. So this is definitely a stock that you want to be uh, paying attention to. Any pullbacks could be a good buy on this one. Next up, um, dual. This one's also forming a really nice bull flag on the weekly chart. Um, yeah. Made a really nice move on earnings too. Um, yeah, really nice move on earnings, really nice volume. Now this one's just getting ready to break out. So if it can take this level out, there's a good chance that <clears throat> this one's ready for uh, a leg up higher. And last but not least, uh, o -N -O -N. This one's also really, really big volume. Um, yeah, look at the volume on the weekly chart, right? And look at the volume bars before. That's a sign that institutions are definitely buying the stock up. And this one finally closed above 32 on the weekly. So this one looks really good. And this one has a lot of room. Um, <clears throat> high, or this one has a lot of potential to go higher. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got on my list for this week or for the coming week. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thank you.